home, it's not too big for you. You don't get too nervous, worked up. You have ice in your veins. You're very cool, calm, and collected. So that's that's what this means, ice in the veins. Yeah, but what about uh, the noise? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What, what, what is that? What is the, the significance noise. of that? I, well, I... I, I thought initially it was she, right, uh, with a, with a lot of ease. Yeah. But it's my understanding that it's sheesh, like uh, oh my goodness. Give us your best. Okay. I <clears throat> I'll, I'll I'll try to give you uh, my best version. I have been practicing. So when uh, when something happens really good, um, I'm supposed to say iced out sheesh. Episode 112, Whoa. which by the way, let's all give a, a special shout out to Pastor Jesse for having baby Cooper. Here he is. Bam. I don't know if you guys know this, but hover ports are very dangerous and have a tendency to blow up and you can fall off of them. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a scoop of our security camera footage, okay? There was an incident that happened with Pastor Zach. Check it out. Today we're going to be talking about Jesus. Last week was Easter, and if you were here in the room in middle school, we talked about how Jesus always keeps his promises. And today we are learning about how Jesus is the great high priest. In the book of Hebrews, it talks about um, the, the basis of Hebrews is kind of called the Apostles' Creed. And it's the ways that we should follow Christ. And what we're going to be learning today is how we can relate with Jesus. All right, guys, today's scripture comes from Hebrews chapter 4. And it says this it says, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I think this scripture is such freedom for us. I think what this states is that Jesus has walked the same earth that we have. Jesus has put on the same flesh that we have. Jesus has walked the earth just as we are right now. And if we know that and we focus on that, we know that Jesus has gone through trials. We know that Jesus has gone through temptation. I mean, I feel like in culture today, all we face is temptation. God wants to pull us one way, but the culture wants to pull us another, and we're hearing so many different things. That's what Jesus did. So many times people said, Jesus, are you really the Son of God? Are you who you say you are? And as we learned last week, Jesus always kept through on his promises. But... What I want you guys to know today is that we can relate with Jesus. He walked the same earth that we did. He approached sin and he took on sin and flesh and died for that. He found what it took to overcome temptation. He found what it took to approach God with grace and mercy. All right guys, so today I'm here at Walmart, right? 
Wait. What is my brother doing here? Bruh. Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, press and walk with me, why don't you? I found you looking for dolls in the doll aisle. We all admit that Trolls is the worst movie in the entire world. Styling Poppy? You know what? Boom! I think one thing that is amazing about this scripture and the truth that we can hold on to is that we have someone that can empathize with our weakness. And we have someone that did go through everything in every way, yet he still did not sin. Yes, we fall into you know traps and we fall into our own mistakes, but I mean, Jesus found the, the way out. Like he found the way to not fall into sin and that is through the throne of God. So then it also says later that we must approach God's throne of grace with confidence. And I think it's amazing to approach God with confidence, knowing that even when we mess up, that Jesus understands, that Jesus knows that sin is a curse. It is not something that um, we will never be able to fall out of. But if we approach the throne of God with confidence, knowing that he will help us in our time of need, that allows us to relate with Jesus. Five bucks for you to ride the Paw Patrol. You gotta turn it on first. All right, have fun. Oh, uh, shoot. Come on, how does this thing go? It's not working. It's not working. In Minecraft, do you ever just drink TNT? <gasps> All right, guys. If we get 10 likes on this video, we will do a challenge of where we build toilet paper forts in Walmart. And hopefully we don't get kicked out because that is not what Jesus would do. All right, thank you for watching episode 112. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, we will see you next week. Peace!